It's often asked, which is better, a will or a trust? To try and answer that, let me illustrate. Suppose you have a tree in your yard that you'd like to cut down. Which is better to cut it down with? An ax or a chainsaw? The answer largely depends on a number of things, the size of the tree, whether or not you know how to safely use a chainsaw, etc. Which is better, a will or a trust? It depends on the nature of your assets, the size of your assets, a number of those kinds of things. They both do essentially the same thing in just a different way. For help in deciding which is better for you and other estate planning questions, go to willplan.org, click on Select an Advisor. There you'll be able to choose the state in which you live, scroll down and get a phone number where you can get in touch with a planned giving advisor who can talk with you about your estate planning. Often we have more produce than we can use for ourselves like these plums. So sometimes we give some away and oftentimes we will sell it and use it for special causes. Welcome back again to our country place. In our last segment, you may have noticed that the bean trellis was 14 feet high. Since then, some changes have taken place. The beans have grown. I added an additional three feet to the top and as you can see, some of those beans are going over the top of it. That's very similar to what you need to do when you have an estate plan. As changes occur in your situation, you need to make adjustments. Last time in the segment, you noticed we had some peas that uh, were shown. If you take a look at those peas now, you'll notice that um, they have, as we would say in the human vernacular, they've passed on and uh, we're going to need to do something about it. Sort of similar in this life, uh, as human beings, we have a lifespan and it comes to an end and we should have a plan as to what's going to happen then. You know, estate planning is much like giving produce during your lifetime. You can give things during your lifetime and uh, reminds me of a saying that you may have heard, be a given while you're living so you'll be a knowing where it's a going. Looks like you've got it all set up. Oh, here, I'm glad you're here. I can't do this all by myself. You know, uh, dividing assets is kind of like splitting wood. We don't know whether or not we'll have snow this winter, how much or how long it will last, but we do need wood for our wood stove. Hey, bring that big one over here. Estate planning involves dividing your assets for similar reasons why you divide wood. You know, even if I could get this in the wood stove, it would create way too much heat. Yeah, you're right. You probably heard of people who won the lottery, and a year or two later, they're worse off than they were before they won all that money. And so as a general rule, it's best when you're setting up your will or trust to divide your assets amongst a number of people so that you do good and not harm. Let's go. I invite you to consider getting or updating your estate plan before winter comes. <laughs>